Hey, Layla, long time no see. How have you been? Hello, Katie. It certainly has been a while. I'm doing very well, thanks. Your mother and everyone else are doing good too. Oh, that's great to hear. I've actually been talking to mom recently. Sounds like you've really been helping out around the house. I'm doing the best I can. I can't believe Gilbert has been in Germany for almost a month now, but I'm trying not to be too much of a burden staying here with Jill. Hmm, I see. Anyway, is everything all right? It's pretty rare for you to contact me directly like this. Oh, sorry to contact you out of the blue. I actually had something I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah? What's up? The thing is, I'm actually pregnant right now. My stomach's already starting to get huge. Oh really? Wow! Congratulations! Thank you! I'm actually planning on coming back home until I have the baby, which means I'll be staying at my parents' house. I see. So that's why you messaged me. Of course, I have no problem with that at all. Feel free to come back. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to seeing the baby. Uh, but right now I'm staying in your room, so you wouldn't have a room of your own to stay in. The only space available is the living room. Are you okay sleeping on the sofa? What? No. No way. I can't sleep without a bed. Okay. I'm sure you could find a bed small enough to fit in the living room. I'll talk to Jill about it and we'll work something out. No, you don't have to do anything like that. There's no need to go out of your way and waste money just to accommodate me. But you don't want to sleep on the sofa, right? Right, so I'll just use your bed. Huh? I've actually already talked to mom about it. We decided it'd be the best if you just returned my old room back to me. Oh, I see. So where am I supposed to sleep? Are you saying I should sleep on the living room sofa? No, no! You could sleep on a bed, of course. Don't be silly. I don't think my bed will fit in the living room. I agree, the living room isn't suitable. We think you should go to the basement. What? The basement? But it's not even finished. I'll freeze to death down there. Don't be so dramatic, you'll be fine. Plus it has a separate door in the back so you can go in and out without coming through the main house. I know that you're married to my brother, but I don't really know you. So you're basically a stranger to me. Why would I want a stranger getting in the way of the birth of my child in my own home? There's no way I could even relax. Even supposing that was acceptable, I don't think I can even get my bed down into the basement. It's too heavy. That's fine, I'll just use your bed. You can just buy a cheap one for the basement. Wait, so you want me to buy a new bed so that you can take mine? Um, yeah. You said it yourself. We can't possibly move yours out of my room. This is unbelievable. Gilbert and I spent weeks picking out that bed. The mattress is completely personalized for me so that I can avoid back pain. Huh? What does that have to do with me? Just go move back in with your own family if this is such a problem for you. They don't live anywhere near here. Sorry, but that sounds like a personal problem. When we started living together, Jill was so kind and welcoming to me. She said I should think of this house as my own home, and she told me that there will always be a place for me here, even when Gilbert is away. No way, that's hilarious. <laughs> Mom said something like that? She did. Even now, she's still been saying the same thing. When Gilbert got shipped to Germany, I was originally planning to move with him, but she said it's a wife's duty to wait at home for him with the family. That's the whole reason I'm still staying here with your parents in the first place. Unbelievable. Well, I don't know how to tell you, but I think me and my baby override that, don't you? If you don't want the basement and you won't go home, I guess you'll just have to sleep on a bench in the park or something. <laughs> Is that some kind of joke? Not at all. It's free. So you'll even be able to save money. Anyway, I'm back home tomorrow, so... Tomorrow? So soon? Yeah, so make sure you're out of the way and in the basement by then. Now, hold on. Just give me a second to process this. I can't understand it at all. I don't remember asking for your understanding. I'm going to be staying at the house for a while after the baby comes, too. I'll be taking care of a precious little baby. Why would I want some dirty stranger around? Don't you get that? The health of my child is my top priority here. Where is this even coming from? I'm not dirty. Like I said, it doesn't matter what your relationship with my brother is. You're nothing but a freeloader taking up space in my house as far as I'm concerned. I'm having my baby at home whether you like it or not, so you better be out of that room ASAP. Fine, I'll just start getting my stuff ready. As soon as possible, okay? That's all I've been saying from the beginning. Why is it so hard for you to get?
What's the deal, Layla? So are you just not going to bother helping around the house today? Or what? It's almost noon. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten your duties as a wife? It's your job to take care of things around the house. We've talked about this. You still expect me to help clean up the house after the whole thing about Katie coming home to have the baby? I'm not even allowed to go upstairs. You said you don't even want me to use the kitchen. Well, sure. I told you before. You need to stay out of the way while Katie is still here. But I don't remember telling you that you could slack off from your chores. What? From morning to evening, your job is to take care of us. I'll expect you to be upstairs working every day from morning to night. From now on. But what about what Katie said yesterday? She said she couldn't relax with a random stranger around the house. Even if I were to be cleaning all day, wouldn't having someone dirty like me around ruin your restful environment? Now that you mention it, you're right. You should probably start working around 4 a.m. then. 4 a.m.? Are you serious? That way, you can finish up the housework quickly and be out of our sight by noon. Katie says her morning sickness is getting worse these days. So she usually sleeps until noon anyway. But she seemed so worried about having me and my germs around. I don't think she'd be happy about me being upstairs, even if it's just to do chores. Don't worry about it. We'll make sure to give you a disinfectant shower from head to foot before you come up. That way you won't bring in any germs. Are you serious? So get your butt up here. Laylar, can you go out and get me some ice cream? I'm having a craving for something sweet. Katie, what time do you think it is right now? The time doesn't matter. A pregnant woman has to satisfy her cravings. I want the special limited edition flavor from that Danish brand. Didn't you start showing diabetes symptoms recently? Are you really sure you should be eating sweets? Shut up. I don't want to hear anything from someone who's never even been pregnant before. Just do as I say. Could you please give me a break from the whole evil stepsister routine you've been giving me? You've always been rude to me, but recently it's getting worse and worse. Ordering me around like your personal servant? Huh? What's wrong with ordering around a freeloader like you? Isn't that why you're here? You have me running around doing errands. I do all the cleaning and laundry. You even throw away my cooking when you don't like it. And now I'm supposed to drop everything and run to the store for you in the middle of the night? I've had enough. I'll be the one to decide when you've had enough. Even mom's been saying we have to be stricter with you. Jill too? Yeah, that's right. I almost forgot to tell you. After having the baby, I'll be staying in the house for a while. Yeah, you mentioned that actually. Just listen, my husband's busy at work, so of course, mom said I could stay as long as I like. It's my home, after all, so it looks like you'll be staying busy for a little while longer. So you mean I'm gonna have to keep up with this housekeeper lifestyle? I can at least assume you'll be taking care of the baby on your own, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Of course taking care of the baby is one of your responsibilities. You can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. Obviously, I'll have to rest my body after giving birth. I'll be too busy sleeping. After all, my main job will be to recover. I won't have any time to be working around the house or taking care of the baby. What about me being dirty and covered with germs? But you're totally fine with leaving your newborn baby with me? But aren't you still getting the alcohol spray showers from mom every morning? I think that's been doing the trick. Yeah, thanks to that, my hair and skin are all dried out. Just think of it as practice for raising your own kids someday. It's something to look forward to. I'm absolutely not looking forward to it. That's it. I'm done with this. Fun and games are over. I'm helping you. What are you getting here? You think you could just disobey me all of a sudden like this? I'm at my limit. I've had enough. I get up early every day to take care of you. And then I get woken up in the middle of the night to run errands for you? If this is going to continue any longer, I can't handle it anymore. But that's your job. It's what you signed up for when you married my brother. It's not a matter of what you can handle, just shut up and do it. You don't have the right to talk back to me like this. You're gonna be taking care of me and the baby, and that's that. In your dreams, Katie. I absolutely did not sign up for any of this by marrying Gilbert, and I'm not putting up with it. What are you even talking about? I mean, the free ride is over. Clean up your own house from now on and buy your own ice cream. This is completely outrageous. You think just because you're married to my brother, you can live in our house and freeload without helping out? You've got some nerve. 
Actually, no, I don't think that. And I'm not gonna live in your smelly old basement anymore. So I'm not your convenient servant-in-law anymore. Hold on, you're moving out? That's right. When did this happen? I couldn't take any more of this. So I had a long conversation with Gilbert on the phone. In the end, we decided it would be best if I just moved out. I can't believe this. You're just gonna abandon your husband's family? Well, it was Gilbert's idea. It's the only way for me to escape this situation. Gilbert said that? He'd actually been worried about me the whole time since he got shipped out. At first, I was trying to put on a brave face, and I assured him everything was fine, even when it wasn't. But after being treated like this for so long, like I said, I can't handle it anymore. It's worse than I ever could have even imagined. And you guys think that's a valid reason to just abandon me while I'm pregnant? Um, yes. Have you told mom about this? No, not just yet. I was planning to tell her about it tomorrow. So that's the situation. Goodbye. If you really want some ice cream, go get it for yourself. Uh, what gives you the right to order me around? Didn't the doctor tell you that you needed more exercise anyway? Go ahead and enjoy a nice stroll around at night. Layla? What's this I'm hearing about you moving out? Katie just woke me up and told me everything. It's exactly what it sounds like. If living here means I have to be your guys' slave, then I just won't live here anymore. So that means I'm done taking care of you. How can you even call yourself a wife with behavior like that? You have a responsibility to this family. How can you sleep at night? I think I'll manage to live with myself somehow. In fact, I'm sure I'll be sleeping much better in my new place than in that basement. Is that so? Fine then. We don't need someone stubborn like you around anyway. Enjoy your life alone from now on. No more freeloading off my son and her family anymore either. Running out on my son and his family? What an idiot. What? I'm not running out on Gilbert. Gilbert and I are still planning to spend our lives together. What does that mean? I'll be moving to Germany and living with him. It'll be a nice, peaceful place with just the two of us. I'll be actually leaving town tomorrow. Now you wait a second. I don't think you can just up and move in with him. This housing is provided to him by the government. You need to get permission. We have permission, don't worry. Everything is above board. A lot of people bring their families with them when they get shipped overseas. It's not like the military demands all families be separated or anything. <laughs> really? Of course. I'm sure the other military families will be much better company than you guys. In fact, I'm sure you're probably stricter and less friendly than any drill sergeant could ever be. <laughs> but I've got to hand you one thing. I don't know if I would have been able to adjust to living abroad originally, but it's been so terrible living here that it's going to be a walk in the park. So thanks. None of this makes any sense. My son really went along with this plan of yours? Of course, it was his idea, actually. To be honest, I think he's pretty eager to get me away from you and Katie. He's actually looking forward to breaking things off with you guys as well. What is that supposed to mean? It means he doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. Him too? My own son. All the stories of you two ordering me around and forcing me to take care of everything around the house. I told him everything. I had to. It just couldn't be helped. I can't believe that you bothered Gilbert with trivial stuff like this when he's hard at work overseas. Anyway, this means that we'll be able to live together again sooner than we expected. And I won't have any more family obligations towards you. Just think of us as strangers, like Katie always said. And leave us alone. With pleasure. Like I'd want anything to do with you after doing something like this. Do whatever you want. Run off to Germany. I don't care anymore. I've got my daughter with the new baby coming anyway. I won't miss you at all. Well, that's perfect. It looks like everything worked out. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Layla, help me. I'm having contractions. I think I'm going into labor. And where are all my documents, my health records and everything? And my health insurance information. And what else was I supposed to bring to the hospital? Hold on a second. Calm down and take a deep breath. I took care of everything you'd need to bring with you. I put everything together on the shelf near the front door a while ago. It's right at the entrance. The front door? 
Am I supposed to find anything there? Uh, with your eyes? Whatever, just get over there. The baby's coming. Any minute now, hurry up and help me. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I've already moved. <laughs> Isn't Jill around to help you? She's already been through all of this before. Why don't you ask someone more experienced like her? She's panicking too. She's no help at all. She has no idea what to do. Wow. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. And of course, Dad is useless too. That's why I need you. What should I do? Well, first of all, get yourself to the hospital as soon as possible. Just have Jill bring your things to the hospital later. Okay, I got it. But wait, which hospital was it? Where am I supposed to go? Which hospital? The same one you've been going to all this time. You have to at least know that, right? I don't remember. You always drove me there, so I don't know where it is. I was supposed to just get a taxi, but you're not here to give me directions. You're going to depend on me even for something tiny like that? Just tell me where to go. What's the name of the hospital I've been going to? You have to at least have the phone number of the hospital written down somewhere, right? Or ask your mom. I'm sure she knows that much. She doesn't know either. We had to take care of everything. Without you, we don't know anything. Well, it's not like I remember either. Don't snap at me just because you've been so careless. What? It's unbelievable. You're going to be a mother soon, and you can't even remember something as simple as the name of the hospital. This whole thing is a joke. And someone like you really thought you could raise a child? I don't need a lecture, please just help me. Come take me to the hospital. Take care of it yourselves. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Layla, come on! Layla, I'm having a baby! You can't just leave me like this. Layla, please, we need you. Is there any way we can get you to come back to the house with us? What's this all of a sudden? Everyone in their house is at their limit. Please come help us. Even just a little bit is fine. You don't need to move back permanently. Just anything so I can get some rest. What's going on? You sound stressed. It's Katie's baby. We were able to get her to the hospital and everything went smoothly after that. But now he's crying all night. Well, yes, he is a baby after all. Katie is still recovering, so she just lies around all day. We grandparents have been stuck with the responsibility of caring for this child. Wow, that's crazy. We can't take it anymore. We've already asked Katie's husband to come help out. But apparently he's too busy with work. So you're the only one we can count on. That's pretty sad, considering I don't even live in the country anymore. Anyway, that's a hard pass for me. Good luck. I'll pay for your plane ticket. Just come help for one month or even just three weeks, just to take care of the baby and give me a break. That's all I ask. We're gonna pass out from exhaustion any day now. Well, that is tough, isn't it? We'll even pay you a babysitter's fee. How about that? $20 an hour. Eventually, Katie will recover and her husband will be around more often. So we just need some help until then. But didn't Katie get divorced recently? You haven't heard about that? What? You said you just need my help until then. But when exactly is then supposed to be? Katie doesn't even have a husband to help out anymore. Divorced? When? How could Katie be divorced? Why is this the first I'm hearing of it? That's right. Just yesterday, Gilbert got a message from her husband. Or I guess I should say ex-husband. Anyway, he told us about the divorce. I can't believe it. It turns out Katie's kid, well, apparently it wasn't his. I don't know all the details, but that's the reason for the divorce, according to him. No way. Of course, he was shocked at the results of the paternity test. He seemed really sad about the divorce, too. Hold on. Let me get this straight. The kid isn't his? What does that mean? Shouldn't you be asking Katie about that? Like I said, we don't know the details. 
This is crazy. None of this makes any sense. Divorce? So that means we'll be stuck with Katie in her house from now on? We're gonna have to keep taking care of this baby? For how much longer? Well, I certainly can't answer that for you. Anyway, I'll be going now. Goodbye. So, Jill was all like, Katie spilled the beans and tell me the whole truth about what the heck went down. And you know what? Katie spilled it all. Turns out, the kid was the result of an affair. Katie tried to play the sympathy card, saying it wouldn't be fair to punish the baby for her own screw-ups. But let's be real, she didn't really have a strong argument. Anyways, her parents had no choice but to keep supporting her. Jill even had to lend her some cash to cover the legal fees for the divorce. The plan was for Katie and the baby to crash at the grandparents' crib. But get this, after just one day, Katie was all like, I'm so freaking exhausted. And she bailed, leaving the whole shebang to the poor grandparents for the next three days. And what do you think Katie did during that time? She parted it up with her friends, man. Can you believe it? So now Jill and her hubby were left completely drained taking care of their grandchild. Talk about being totally wiped out, right? 